Ah, college football television contracts. They're one of the main reasons Texas and Oklahoma decided to leave the Big 12 for the SEC. As Pink Floyd would say, grab that cash with both hands and make a stash. Well, one conference is trying to cash in on their sweet, sweet, sweet television deal in the Big 10. But things got interesting today according to On3. Currently, Kevin Warren and the Big Ten Network have been participating in negotiations with Amazon, Apple, CBS, ESPN, NBC, and Turner, who are all trying to make their pitches to the Big Ten on why they should bring their television rights to their network. An interesting addition to the room has also been two senior Fox Sports executives, Mark Silverman and Larry Jones. Silverman is Fox Sports president and COO, while Jones is Fox Sports executive vice president of business. This is unusual with executives saying they've never encountered this type of situation before where they have had to make their pitches not only in front of a competitive network, but actually its executives. Silverman and Jones's presence in the negotiation room was a part of a deal Fox Sports cut with the Big Ten when their previous rights agreement were signed in 2017. According to the Sports Business Journal, the earlier deal gave Big Ten Network control of the media rights to the Big Ten Conference for an undetermined period of time. Silverman, who ran Big Ten Network back in 2017, was part of the negotiations with ESPN as a Big Ten Network rep back then. This year, Silverman and Jones are taking part in these talks as designated representatives of the Big Ten Network, the channel in which Fox Sports is a majority owner and the entity that controls the Big Ten rights. Essentially, the two Fox Sports executives are acting as both designated Big Ten Network representatives and media consultants, which is one reason why the Big Ten did not hire a media consultant to help it through these negotiations. For the longest time, it was a mystery of who Kevin Warren was going to use as a consultant for the negotiations, and we finally got the answer. While this whole situation may sound a little sketchy for the other networks, supposedly the dealings in the boardroom are on the up and up, as Fox Sports already has a deal in place to renew its Big Ten pact, so it's not like they're going to get an advantage in the negotiations. The specifics of Fox's new deal are not set, and the Big Ten doesn't know how many games that the package will have as the conference is trying to sell up to three more packages to other networks. They're expecting to award these packages by Memorial Day. Fox will have the main package, and its deal will feature at least as many games as its current deal, probably more. Under its current agreement, Fox carries 27 Big Ten football games each season. I think it is extremely interesting to see the companies involved in trying to buy these other packages. The contenders are CBS, ESPN, and NBC on the traditional side of media. CBS is looking for top-level football games to replace their Saturday afternoon SEC games, which is leaving for ESPN after the 2023 season. NBC has also pushed for a weekly Big Ten game that it can package with Notre Dame for a Saturday doubleheader. NBC has the rights to Notre Dame football through the 2025 season. ESPN carries more of the top college football games than any other network and wants to keep a piece of the always highly rated Big Ten. But then there are the non-traditional companies involved. Turner Sports has expressed interest, but executives are awaiting to make their formal pitch which will come after Discovery's purchase of Warner Media passes through regulatory channels. That $43 billion deal became official on April 8th, so they are expected to meet with the Big Ten soon. Then there are digital platforms like Amazon and Apple. According to the Sports Business Journal, both digital companies increasingly have been using sports as a way to gain more subscribers for their streaming services. Amazon will carry the NFL's Thursday Night Football exclusively this fall, and Apple just started carrying Friday Night MLB games exclusively earlier this month. The presence of so many bidders all but ensures that the conference will see a healthy increase over the six-year $2.64 billion deal it signed with ESPN and Fox in 2017. I think it's extremely interesting with the Big Ten and the SEC viewed as the top college football conferences and their rights of each conference are with rival broadcasting networks. ESPN holds all the SEC rights through the 2033 and 34 school years and owns and operates the SEC network. Fox Sports will be the Big Ten's main rights holder and is the majority owner of the Big Ten network. I think this will be an interesting thing to watch over the next few weeks and personally I hope the Big Ten decides to go with CBS because of how great and classic that 3.30 Eastern broadcast is. And could you imagine a big noon kickoff, followed by a 3.30 kickoff with the two biggest Big Ten games each week? Get the popcorn out for that. But what network do you want to see the Big Ten team up with? Or do you want them to go the streaming service route? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more college football content, and check out one of my more recent videos right here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.